Let's talk about the episode. Let's talk about the episode. So, we got so many people want to be bosses. We ain't got enough players in the game. And somebody say this. Somebody turn that around and say that. And we got a whole lot of people right here playing as wife. And they ain't really got no rain. Well, now they got the rain. Jen. 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 You love your cheating behind fiance pr um, pressure, right? Tell me what part of the law this is where girlfriend get to make deals with somebody else that don't involve you. They got to come through you just to make a deal, make a payment, receive a payment. It all got to come through you like you the wife. Jen... Whatever happened to you, gonna happen to you. This little deal with um, Jada and Pressure, it ain't none of your business and you can't put your big nose in it. Like I said, I like you, but I can't stand your ways. I don't know who you think you is or what part of your mind you think the world works way. Somebody got to come through you like you was a part of the deal from the beginning. Like you know how much money missing. Like you was there from the jump to know what's going on. Like you was there signing the contracts and all this. What balls and what ballpark are you in to think that you're going to be involved in this deal? If that thing go to court, you know what that judge going to tell you? Sit your behind down. This don't involve you. You shouldn't have no opinion. You don't have no say-so or none of that involvement in that. So that court thing, if y'all do take it to court, you ain't going to have no say-so in it. You fiance not after the fact. But when that deal went down, you had no involvement, no way, shape, or form involved in that contract. What makes you think you can come in the, um, the contract and modify it the way you wanted to say, saying somebody got to come through you, saying that you got to do this, saying that I looked at this and you don't, and he don't owe you this, he owed you, he owed you that. Then on top of it, pressure. You are want to be trying to be a somebody. Because look here. Look here. You right here buying houses. You right here paying for rings you can't afford. You right here loaning rings and all this and all that. How you plan on talking about paying this woman back on a payment plan? And your behind right here got to, got to um go get a loan just to marry this woman. The same woman you said on Park Avenue or wherever in New York, she tossed the ring out the window and you you buying her a whole new fancy ring. What I would have done and made her behind go back where she chugged that ring, got out the window, and made her go find that ring. That's what I would have did. You buying this woman rings that she can possibly throw out the window because you are cheating and you a player. Y'all y'all deserve each other at this one. Like, I cannot and I will not with y'all. Y'all deserve each other. Jim, I don't know what you think your role is in this whole Jada situation. But according to the eyes of the law, they gonna tell you to sit your behind down somewhere. You ain't got no involvement, nowhere shape or form in that. Now you his fiance, let's see you walk down the aisle. And after that fact, you still won't have nothing to say about it because it's none of your business. Talking about what you are, how much you... You tripped me out when you said that on that episode and you trying to make it nice with that woman, trying to play pizza with that woman, talking about some... He don't owe you this. He owe you that. And then on top of it, but you going to talk about some any deal is or this going on. You got to come through me. You got to come through me. The contract, the sign, the cut signing of the contract, the paying the bill, what he owe you and what he don't owe you. You got to you got to come through me and all that. Oh, you really think you powerful, huh, Jim? Just because you decide to deal with a cheater that made shady deals and, made, and um, shaded that woman out of her money don't mean you're going to have your little big nose involved in it. Like, Jen, you had me laughing at you, thinking that you got all this power that you don't got. You got invis invisible powers with all that smoking air you breathing out of your t out of your mouth. Jen, go sit down somewhere with you and your cheater with his men alone. He's going to have to pay back when he do decide to get some money like I cannot and I will not 
And pair of pools, I don't know why you was wasting your you wasting your time or your energy or your breath telling this fool you might want to go ahead and take care of the Jada situation. You might as well you might want to go ahead and you know handle that, and make sure that's all fine before you decide to marry this woman or propose to this woman. Don't bring that mess into your proposal. He run the mess into the proposal because in his eyes he think going big gonna get him somewhere. The dummy fell for. And she gonna marry him. She might end up chugging and rain down Park Avenue again, but she gonna marry him, and he gonna continue to cheat on her, continue to do this shady stuff behind her back, cause she a lot, she a lot, and she love it. That little manager or whatever you is on Instagram calling yourself, yeah. You better stick with that title. That's the only title you're going to be by law to get away with. As for the legal dealers and contract, the people going to laugh at you and go tell you to go sit your behind down somewhere because ain't nobody for to listen to your BS um, coming out of your mouth like you running the thing and controlling things. Now, Auntie O, I love you dearly. God knows I do. I support you. God knows I do too. Auntie O, you got a whole lot of talking, a whole lot of gossiping, and a whole and not enough facts to back up anything. So you saying Cisco told you all this, rich doing this, rich doing that, shady. Check your money. Make sure it is correct. Make sure your eyes dotted and your T's crossed. You said Cisco told you this. You believed him. You went and checked to find out you had some money missing. Okay, fine. Cisco, on the other hand, said, I didn't say none of this. Where are you getting this from? I promise you on my kids. None of this never happened. I don't believe you went and told this man that. How you put me involved in this mess. He don't recall the situation. He don't remember the situation. Maybe he fell on some snow and hit the back of his booty head or something. But he don't remember the situation, Olivia. So, either you lying, Cisco lying, or Rich did steal from you. Right now, we need to see some facts coming out of your mouth. We need to see some copper receipts with Jay the guy on on um, pressure. If you can't produce those kind of receipts that Jay the guy on pressure, I love you. Shut up, because I don't believe you, Cisco. Cisco is a you know what starter. So what he said, I took about. 10, 15 percent of that and believe it. You on the other hand, I like you and love you and your music. I'm inclined to believe you. However, all you doing is running your mouth at this point. You ain't showed us no facts. You ain't showed us no receipts. You ain't even showed us a piece of, a piece of paper saying that this was supposed to go to this and that was supposed to go to that and Rich didn't do this and Rich didn't do that. We only got your word of mouth via what Cisco told you. Well, allegedly told you. He ain't tell you nothing according to him. So, Auntie O either Get it right or shut up at this point because you look at mighty crazy going around accusing this man of something he didn't do. And then you had the audacity and the nerve to get mad at Yandy. And like Yandy said, I've known this man for years. I know Rich wouldn't do that. I trust Rich. I love Rich like he a brother to me. I know he wouldn't do nothing like that, especially not to you. He love you enough not to do nothing like that to you. Why would somebody that love you are going do you like this? Like you need to you need to um stop getting mad at everybody defending Rich dollars because Rich do got a reputation out there, and basically you're saying that that man stole from you. That's defamation of character. Why you? You going around talking about what he stole from you and not showing any receipts and proof that he did. You might want to shut up for you end up in court, right along with Pressure and Jen and Jada, while you running around here trying to start a storyline for yourself. Going around here and getting mad at people because they defending Rich, knowing you wrong and knowing you ain't showed not one piece of paper that Rich did you wrong or showed no facts. Just because you took it to a lawyer, you ain't showed us you ain't showed us no single fast receipt or any amount. So we either, we, we either put up or shut up, Auntie O. Put up or shut up. 
Because Cisco might be taking you for a ride and you was the dummy that went to Cisco when you was mad at Rich and now he didn't took you for the ride and now you mad at him because he won't repeat what you said on camera and he said I didn't say this, you said he did say this. So one of y'all is lying. Who the liar? You or Cisco? Okay, Auntie O. Like I said, you might you might want to use those words a little um uh, more wisely before you end up getting yourself a sudden you can't get your behind out of Sin and Joe. I'm so sick of them. Like I like Joe. <laughs> um I ain't got no hard feelings against Sin. Saying a little ditzy to me or whatever, but saying is the shut up or put up at this point. You the one sleep off what's going to counseling, all this and all that. Don't you would have realized by now, or haven't you would have realized by now? If this man was cheating on you, and this man was going behind your back talking, communicate with another woman, don't you think if he wouldn't admit it on this show, he would have admitted in counseling? So now you sounding crazy saying that he won't give you what you want and show that, oh well, you, he won't give you the push that you looking for to want back your family. But you trying to call this man a cheater without proof of facts. If this man would have cheated on you, I didn't know Joe long enough. He didn't admit it that he didn't cheat it. Why haven't he had, why haven't he um told anybody that he cheated on you? He told us the situation according to him. You don't know the situation. You just assuming by a text message you saw or a message you saw. So either you put up or you sh or put up or you shut up too, I'm um, saying. Because you trying to say this man cheated on you. To cheat, they got to be new photos, sexting, intercourse, kissing, holding her and holding her in public, or caressing her boob or her booty or something. You got to prove that this man was cheating on you. Our messages don't tr approve nothing. If you don't see no photos or no, you know, body parts that she shouldn't have been seeing or caught him red-handed or some condoms missing or whatever, shut up, Jen, because it probably didn't happen. And I think you just using this for a storyline, like I said from the jump. I believe, Joe, if he would have cheated on you, he would have he would have admitted that mess by now. And he would have said to shut you up, yeah, I cheated on you. Yes, I did that to you. Yes, I was wrong. So, why are you saying this man cheated on you, but we have yet to see any evidence or proof that this man didn't cheated on you? So help me help you, Olive. I mean, help me help you, I'm um, saying. Either he a cheater or he's not a cheater. You saw one message. You assumed the worst and ran with the worst. You messed up your own marriage, running behind a text message. You didn't get no proof. A text message, just a text message. message. And this man ain't proved that you are said in, um... And counseling that he cheated on you, you gotta get your man and run with your man before um before somebody else run with your man and steal your man from you. I'm just letting you know you going around talking about this man and cheated on you and he ain't giving you the push that you need to show that he want his family bad. Why should this man work any type of way? This man in his face telling you he ain't cheat on you. You don't have no proof that he cheated on you. Why can't you let this go and leave this alone? to get your man back. Now, when you find proof that he cheated on you, get him this same treatment. But right now, you just running on, you just running on a message. You ain't see no photos. You ain't see no videos. You ain't see no, we was going out to dinner. You ain't see no, meet me at the Red Roof Hotel or motel. You ain't say, meet me at the Hilton. You ain't say, meet me at the, um, 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 the Liberty Center or whatever, you ain't seen none of that. You running with one little string of a text message and think this man is saying, go sit your behind down somewhere. I'm so sick of you and I'm glad this is the season finale next Monday because you is working on my last nerves. Like, I cannot and I will not.
out with you. You want this man to give you something that this man ain't got nothing to prove. This man then told you he ain't cheated on you. You gonna run with the fact that he ain't cheated on you. Y'all in counseling, y'all ain't did enough session. Why haven't he admitted to anything yet? That ought to make you look dumb right now. Thinking that he did and he really didn't do nothing. But then again, though, you immature anyway, so... Lose your man, I guess. Lose your man. Is that what helped you sleep well at night? Losing your man over something dumb like that, dumb like that, like you ain't got no proof of? Go right on ahead. But anyways, though, y'all, that was the episode. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all night. Bye.